The COVID-19 pandemic on the construction sector, as well as in normal life, has redefined our future operations, and there's been a real need for change. Sharing their experience on the global health crisis, as well as their project portfolio going forward, is New York Stock Exchange listed company, Hill International, where I will be joined by the regional president of the Middle East, Abdo Kardus. Abdo Kardus, uh, it's fantastic to have you with us today at ITP Media Group Studios. How, how are things? Things are good. Uh, we've, uh, we've been doing uh, well, uh, con considering the pandemic and the uh, impact uh, uh, of the uh, pandemic on the real estate sector and, and on the construction sector in, in, in general. Uh, we're fortunate that uh, most of the projects are still ongoing. Uh, there have been some very limited disruptions, but uh, uh, construction projects are a go in, in the various ge geographies where we're working in the region. So uh, uh, that's been good news for, uh, for us, for our clients, uh, and, and for our staff as well. Fantastic to hear. And uh, Hill International recently had some exciting news come out of the business uh, with the revamped uh, as part of its 45-year anniversary. Um, can you share some insights um, behind the revamp for, for our viewers just so they can get a bit of an understanding? Uh, sure. The, um, um, we've refreshed our logo. Uh, basically, it's still the same logo with the same red color, but we've refreshed it with a, uh, with a slightly different uh, tone. Uh, the branding is, is still the same. Uh, we've uh, rethought our um, uh, mission statement in order to uh, take us into the next 45 years, hopefully. Uh, we've changed our tagline. We're uh, to basically uh, managing the, uh, the construction uh, of change. Um, and uh, we've uh, relaunched our website, uh, which uh, due to the additional services that uh, uh, we've been uh, um, undertaking and that we plan to undertake in the future. So basically, we've uh, uh, refocused uh, the uh, uh, the company uh, strategy into the uh, next uh, uh, decades of work that, uh, that 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 would be coming up. Okay, and Abdul, you've been on quite a journey at Hill International. I've heard a lot of things about you. Um, you've been with the company, so I've been told since 1997, uh, and you've probably seen it all. Uh, so tell us what you've learned and. How are things different now compared to what they were since you started the business? Um, uh, when I started with Hill, we uh, were privileged to be involved on, uh, I think, uh, quite a few iconic projects, uh, primarily in the UAE. Uh, one of them was the uh, Sheikh Sultan bin Zayed uh, Grand Mosque in Abu Dhabi, mm. uh, which people still refer to as the eighth wonder of the world. Mm. Um, the, uh, the Palm Jumeirah uh, land reclamation, as well as Palm Jabal Ali plus the World Islands. Uh, we've, we've done, uh, in a very short period of time, the um, uh, Emirates Hills uh, developments, about up to 7,000 uh, you know, homes with the, with the associated uh, uh, amenities and, and, and facilities. At, at that time, uh, as, as well as the um, uh, gardens uh, development with close to 4,000 housing units, uh, plus all the uh, in infrastructure associated with that as well. Now, when, when, when we started, uh, we're working with smaller teams. Uh, we've had uh, around five or six people manage all of these mega projects uh, and efficiently and uh, to the client's satisfaction. But as the complexity of the projects uh, grew, as the pressure on, on, on delivery and timelines, as well as cost, uh, has mounted, uh, then uh, clearly the need for larger teams to help manage these projects within time, within budget, and with the required quality uh, has, has become paramount, which means that what we were able to do when, when we started these big projects uh, back in 1997 onwards, uh, now it's taking a lot more resources to, uh, to, to efficiently uh, manage and, and, and deliver the project. So effectively the focus 
uh, now it's a lot more on on uh, reporting, on uh, cost control, on, on on schedule control, and on uh, managing uh, a large programs of work, uh, which is uh, basically for the same client that has multiple projects in multiple locations. Okay, and Abdul, we we recently sat down with the the CEO of Hill International, uh, Ralph Garley. Uh, who told us he was quite uh, optimistic for 2021, considering all the market challenges at the moment. Um, can you share a little bit about what your plans are for 2021 in the business? What are some of your main objectives? The, uh, our plan is to continue servicing uh, our existing clients. Uh, in, uh, in our business, we have a lot of repeat clients and uh, we uh, we. We're always in touch with them, uh, trying to familiarize ourselves with their upcoming uh, programs, and we, uh, you know, we, we have to be ready to uh, to try and cater to their needs and, and requirements. But uh, because of certain slowdown in certain uh, slowdown in certain industries or sectors, um, we've uh, we started looking at additional service offerings that uh, we can, uh, you know, bring. To our clients uh, and, and 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 to the industry to help basically complement the service offerings that we uh, uh, we we have at present. So uh, recently we uh, we have started growing our facility management portfolio. So uh, uh, we, we we've been doing quite well with uh, with recent uh, a major recent award in Saudi Arabia last year, and we're looking at further investment into. New countries uh, like within the regions like uh, Qatar and possibly Bahrain uh, of of the facility management uh, services. Uh, we're also looking at uh, advisory services. Uh, seeing that with the challenges associated with uh, with with COVID nineteen, uh, certain uh, programs uh, had uh, you know were were disrupted. Uh, uh, there were supply chain uh, disruptions. Uh, Various places within the industry, which has led to projects taking a lot longer uh, to finish, then resulting into challenges and, and cash flow issues. So, uh, by uh, we've been approached by several of existing clients and uh, and new clients to try and uh, help them navigate through these uh, through this difficult period in order to make sure that their uh, contractors. Are able to, uh, you know, continue seamlessly with their projects with with, with minimum uh, difficulties or challenges. Um, we're uh, we're looking at cost management services, which we do in in house now. We're uh, we're we're trying to grow uh, that as a as a separate standalone uh, service as well. So these are the additional, uh, you know, products that we're. Uh, looking into in order to uh, to help us uh, deal with the upcoming projects in 2021 and and, and beyond. So Abdo, as part of your role at Hill International, um, you were in charge of leading the business development and the operation side for the projects. Um, one of the key statistics that I took out from your, your bio is that you have a project portfolio that you're leading at Hill International in excess of ten billion dollars, which is a huge amount of money. Um, what can you share in terms of any new projects being lined up for twenty twenty one? Is there any that you can reveal exclusively to Construction Week? Um, and what sectors are you targeting in particular? Well, we're um, we continue to target the um, the viable uh, projects uh, that are really uh, needed for the development in uh, uh, in the various regions uh, or, or countries within within the GCC region um, we're uh, we've recently been uh, been awarded uh, 60 schools in, in Saudi Arabia that are being developed uh, under under a PPP uh, program and these these 60 schools are are part of a and a more ambitious program to uh, to build more than a thousand schools in in, in, in the coming uh, three to five years, uh, using the same uh, PPP approach, uh, so that ed education is clearly an, an, an important aspect. 
of, uh, of, of our business where we're, we're trying to grow that line. And we're on the lookout for uh, similar opportunities across the region. Transport is another one. Uh, we're, uh, there's still a uh, potential for investment in ports. Uh, uh, Abu Dhabi, Saudi Arabia, even, even Oman. And we have uh, a good track record in, in port development. Uh, particularly recently, we've, uh, in recent years, we've, we've completed one of the uh, largest container terminals in, in, in Morocco. Um, uh, under, under the transport sector as well, uh, aviation is a major uh, uh, sector for us. Uh, Saudi Arabia alone uh, are targeting uh, 23 new uh, airports between the Greenfield and uh, expansions of existing airports. So whether these are going to be developed by, uh, you know, government funding or uh, through uh, a PPP mode, with the private sector participation or a combined approach. Um, uh, this is uh, an area where uh, we're quite keen on, on, on participating in, considering that we've, uh, we've worked on the Abu Dhabi airport, Bahrain airport, Oman and, uh, and, and Oman, Muscat and Salala. Uh, so we, we have a good track record specifically in, in the region in the aviation sector. And we're looking at, uh, at uh, some of the projects as well uh, in, in Iraq uh, where they, they have a major need as well to grow their, uh, their, their aviation sector there as well. Um, on the highway uh, projects, we've, we've just recently been, uh, been, been awarded a, uh, uh, a good size uh, highway project in the western region of, uh, of, of Abu Dhabi. We're looking at, uh, at, at the major highway project as well, close to 50 kilometers in, uh, in, in Iraq. And we're, um, we're uh, on, on the short list of the Ministry of Transport in Saudi Arabia for uh, uh, several of the uh, major projects or programs that will, will be launched uh, in, in the near future. Rail is the last uh, area of, uh, of uh, you know, importance for us. Uh, having worked on uh, light rail projects in Qatar and the uh, Green Line Metro in Qatar, and uh, now currently we're working on, uh, we're delivering uh, three lines out of the six lines on the uh, Riyadh Metro. So uh, with Saudi Arabian Rail in particular, uh, uh, they have major uh, or, or an ambitious plan to grow the rail network in the country, and we're uh, we're in discussion with them for certain, uh, you know, uh, hopefully uh, either strategic alliance or uh, in any other form of, uh, of being engaged and in, in supporting them on their projects. Mm, excellent. So a lot of projects uh, keeping you busy then at the moment. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and that leads um, quite nicely into the next question. The, the key talking point for me at the moment from the different people I've spoken to is the sort of massive need uh, and demand for infrastructure. There's a huge kind of growth potential there. Why, why do you think this is happening now? You know, obviously we, you talked just then that, you know, you're working on a lot of school projects. Um, why do you think now is the time to invest in, in infrastructure within the region? Um, well, there, there are a couple of reasons for it. Uh, one is that uh, there's a lot of uh, infrastructure that was done in the past. Uh, based on uh, you know different criteria, but now uh, you know with the uh, with, with the advent of, of technology and uh, the desire of the uh, uh, various countries in, in, in the region to uh, to upgrade their their infrastructure, there's a lot of potential. I mean, uh, Bahrain is looking for uh, a uh, you know they started the process to build their own metro. Uh, Kuwait has been contemplating this for a while, and they're proceeding now as well. Uh, the, uh, Saudi Arabia and uh, Bahrain are building another causeway because the existing causeway is, has been there for a long time, is, is under capacity, so the capacity needs to be uh, in, in increased. And uh, the, uh, uh, the various countries are growing horizontally, so cities are growing into suburbs and uh, better connectivity is required between the different uh, cities. And uh, that definitely would uh, trigger the, uh, the, the necessity to uh, have better connectivity and uh, basically minimize the, uh, 
the congestion in, in, in downtown areas and uh, in, in the various uh, regions here.